Shalom, shalom, and hello. This is Sister Victory. Blessings to the saints of the Most High, and blessings to my dear sister, Shalom. I was really uh, thinking about something. I was thinking about how, you know, we really see the Bible come into pass as we go on every day in society. We see the Word, the Scriptures come into pass. And I noticed something uh personally about myself as I read the scriptures. I know that I definitely resemble my Heavenly Father. More and more as I read the Bible, I see that. Genesis 1, 26 and 27. Genesis 27 says, So God created man in his own image, and the image of God created he, male and and female, he them. And I thought about how I express myself a lot like my Heavenly Father, you know. Um, and that explains why, because I'm created in His image. We are created in His image. I also um, thought about how, you know, I've always been a mother that has been pretty direct and hard on my children when I was raising them because, you know, a lot of it was out of fear of being a black woman, having black children, raising them. Um, a lot of the child rearing was, you know, in fear a lot of times. Um, you know, worrying I had three sons, so, you know, worrying about them being put in prison, uh, worrying about women lying on them, uh, saying they raped them and they didn't. You know, just there was so much to be concerned with um, having three black young men. And we see that uh, a rise is, you know, coming back, that we really have to have concerns. And as well as that, I just didn't want my children to be menaced to society um, and that I did my part. You know, sometimes our children still end up going the wrong way, but... I want to know that I did everything I can, just like the Bible says in Proverbs 22, 6, that train a child in the way they should go. Revelations 3 and 19 says, as many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. And I said, that's another characteristic that I have like my father. People I love, I chasten, which were my children which are my children, I chasten them. And I don't just turn my back and turn a blind eye and not care about what they say, what they do. That's, that's a heart like the Father's, according to Revelation 3 and 19. Revelation 3 and 22 says, He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. So I even raising children, hoping that they have an ear to obey so that they can be protected from a lot of things that are in the world that they can end up being involved in. And so telling them and giving them warnings and instruction is the same as the father. He tells us he that has an ear, let him hear what the spirit is saying to the church. And so as a parent, I often chastise and rebuke Um Hallelujah. Then Acts 2 and 40 says, And with many other words did he testify and exhort, saying, Save yourselves from this untoward generation. And I think I'm at a period in my life with uh, my children, um, even though I still have one at home. I'm coming to a period of life to save yourself. The Bible says save yourselves. You know, we're living in a time where people don't want to listen. People don't want to take sound advice. People won't uh, listen to wise counsel. You know, it's just, children are disobedient. We're seeing all this coming to pass. And so Re Acts 2 and 40 tells us to save yourself. Save yourself from this untoward generation. So, but I just want to encourage mothers, although we know that the children may be hard-headed, they may not listen. Still don't let that be a reason that you turn a blind eye because at the end of the day, we're all going to be judged for what we do in our bodies. And you want to be able to have peace to know that you did everything you can do 
to help the people you love, especially our children. Shalom.